Ah, <coughs> uh, Jeremy, thanks very much for uh, manfully stepping into the breach this morning of the Six Music Breakfast Show and doing the first link for, for Naman, giving her a little lie in. You had us all fooled there, you sly silver fox. The listeners were convinced that you were there uh, for the whole duration. Um, as you can see, I'm ill. I'm hearing the sick bear. Uh, and so I was a bit disorientated and confused when I woke up about nine o'clock. Saw a lot of the messages and was like, what's going on here? Uh, heard the first link. Uh, but then I've seen the video that you posted and um, about you taking over the breakfast show. I rang Bob Shannon, the head of Six Music and Radio 2, and indeed he has confirmed that this is the case. Um, it will come as perhaps a surprise, or perhaps it won't come as a surprise to people, that it fills me with equal measures of dread, horror, and also joy to hear that somebody's finally releasing me um, from the contract at BBC Radio 6 Music for nine years now. It's been uh, simultaneously a great joy and a colossal burden to me, and I'm sure it's been the same to the listeners as well. Um, I don't want people to feel sad for me. Uh, I'm happy to do two 40-second slots per hour uh, doing the traffic and travel and cycling updates um, on what will now be your programme uh, come, I think, in July. Uh, but the other reason I don't want people to be worried is because I do have I've secured another contract from the BBC. One of the things that I did this morning, I often do when I've got a day off, is listen across the other breakfast networks. Uh, Christian O'Connell, Chris Moyles, both very good, very professional, highly amusing. Uh, and I spent a little bit of time listening to Chris Evans as well, who by sheer coincidence, possibly a bit of serendipity this, had the producer of Country File on his show. He really did. Listeners to my programme now that have been desperate to get on that show for some time. And he was talking about the great success of Country File. I thought, what better time for me to drop him in now? Uh, and I, I did do that. And it turns out that this is pure strange coincidence, isn't it? Uh, that there is a slot now on Country File since John Craven lost his marbles completely at the weekend uh, pretending to be a wolf in the woods, if you remember. We played the clip on my breakfast programme. It turns out that um, he wasn't pretending. Uh, John Craven does think he's a wolf. He's in a secure facility. Uh, he's been very well looked after. No one needs to worry about that. But clearly he does have to step down from his position on Country File, which means yours truly gets a look in. Finally. So that's going to be what I'm going to do. It's worked out well for, for everybody, I think, Jeremy. For yourself as a great music lover, uh, you get to take a bit of a time away from current, current affairs, which can be depressing. Uh, I get to roam fields in the, you know, in, in the sort of uh, in the south and in the west country, uh, talking about weevils and stuff, uh, touching tractors. Everybody's happy. Uh, thanks very much for doing what you've done. Uh, you're still a, a, a great central plank of the programme, and uh, very much look forward to seeing you for a bottle of Newcastle Brown Ale in the BBC Club in the near future. Kisses. Cats! Cats operating in gangs!